what's up you guys welcome back to the channel still currently here in florida it is another nice day out here florida sun just keeps getting warmer and warmer we are on our way to daytona beach to check into our next hotel we are so excited because this hotel is actually located right on the beach so we can go fish and have fun here in the florida sun and i've got the tesla right now on autopilot which is pretty amazing it's still kind of scary though at times but very amazing and we've got about uh, 70 miles to go or actually 60 miles to go now such an amazing day driving a tesla we have just arrived here at Bucky's. I didn't even know that they had Bucky's here in Florida. We're gonna go ahead and charge this car up and head into Bucky's to get some lunch. This is actually our first time using a Tesla supercharger. Not sure how much this is gonna cost us because we've been using a free charger in our hotel. This gas station is so big. There's probably about a hundred gas stations here, dispensers. They have everything here from camping equipment all the way to food and this world famous beef jerky wall. This place is huge. It's kind of like a small department store. I think we're gonna go ahead and go for the brisket sandwich. What are you gonna get for lunch? Uh, maybe sausage. I think I got everything. <laughs> like I grab everything, look. You got it. I got my my apple pie, sausage, I said earlier, burger and I already forgot what those are. By far the most expensive gas station trip. Yeah. $60. 70 dollars Yeah, apparently some people spend about 800 bucks there. Just got back to the car and Tesla superchargers are awesome. We were running at about, what, 68? 68% earlier and it took about nine minutes to charge that was amazing apparently there's no seating areas inside bucky's or outside bucky's we're here in the parking lot we're just gonna have a quick lunch i don't know if this is gonna be a quick lunch because we bought a lot <laughs> look at this chips it almost tastes like sweet potatoes sweet potato chips but it's not bucky's look at that so cheesy creamy and bulky first bite Mm. Almost doesn't taste like it's from a gas station. Sausage on stick. It's actually just the, the sausage and the tortilla. That's it. I absolutely like it. Glazed pecans. Look at that. Hot apple pie. Very uh, cinnamony. <laughs> We have just arrived here in our new hotel. We're actually currently staying here at the Residence Inn here on the actual Daytona Beach. Check this out. So we've got a full kitchen, we've got this dining table here, all this working space, nice living room. Two queen size beds. Sean's actually in the bathroom, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out here a little bit later. Best part of this room. We've got a balcony. Daytona Beach right there. We're currently facing south. All those other hotels. That's the main road right there. So you can actually drive on the beach right there. Kind of reminds me of Washington. The beach out here is pretty calm. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna be able to catch fish out here. This is gonna be the spot. We just got out of probably by far the best bait and tackle shop here in Florida. This is the Donald's uh, bait and tackle. We've been trying to find some sand fleas and some so live bait. Finally! Apparently they've been out for uh, a couple of months or years now and we finally found them and this is so much better for catching pompano. So we'll give it a try today. It's, uh, it's moving. just found this one fishing spot. So we're actually kind of underneath this uh, bridge right now. 
and I'm not really sure how to fish this spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some either shrimp or uh, sand flea here and we'll see how it goes. Fish bite at the bottom and the sand fleas and in the middle that's shrimp and, and fish bite and the same as the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it your line or what? Uh, no. Oh. Came off. Is it came off? I don't know what that was, but it definitely was a bite and it did take my shrimp. So far we've got one bite. Looking pretty nice out here, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of fishermen right now. Just got a couple of folks there. A couple of folks down there. You catch anything yet? They took my flea. We are now by the beach here at the main Daytona beach here in uh, Florida. We've got a pretty epic sunset behind us. All the hotels up and down this beach. that sunset. Good morning from Daytona Beach, Florida. We are currently having breakfast right next to the pool and also watching a pretty epic sunrise. This is actually, I think, our first time watching a sunrise while having breakfast. Just look at that. What I meant by having breakfast by the pool is that the pool's right there and we're eating inside, <laughs> right here. So as much as we wanna go ahead and stay in this hotel and just have a nice relaxing day, we're actually gonna go drive down south uh, about an hour and a half away so we can go fishing. Just had to make a quick pit stop at one of these superchargers. We're only gonna have about 16% as soon as we get to the dock, which I'm not feeling comfortable with because there's not a whole lot of superchargers near the boat launch. The good thing is there's a lot of superchargers here in Florida. They're mainly right next to a freeway. Here we are, we're getting charged up. We've got about 40 minutes remaining to get charged up to a hundred percent and we were sitting at 24 percent when we got here it definitely shows how much they charge you over here and it's already a dollar 15. just got back to the car 40 percent in about 10 minutes not bad i think that gives us about an hour's worth of driving but we are finally here uh currently with cat and rob we're gonna go try to fish a couple different species today For not now? sure exactly what but whatever bites right Oh, nice. First mission is to get some bait, try to catch some uh, finger moats. We're basically going to be fishing this mangroves over here. We are now fishing. And I think I just had a bite. Oh, he's still in there. He's still on there? All right, cool. Get away from my bait! <laughs> That's our baba right there, and there's a oh, dolphin no. right next to it. You just gotta be quick. Let me bring it to me, bring it to me. Sean Thank just got a much. first fish on. So, what is this, trout? Yes. Nice. Look this at that. This is a trout. Ooh. That's why I say bring it to me quick. You saw the dolphin try to eat him? <laughs> and he was like, I'm gonna eat that. Look at that. <laughs> so far, Sean's got that one trout. How do you feel catching the first fish in the boat? Amazing. There's a big school of uh, dolphins. Sean's got another big one. <laughs> Second trout for the day. There's a ton of dolphins just swimming around us. Just caught my first trout and Sean already caught what, two? Yeah. Right? So just got back to shore. I just cannot believe our fishing today. <laughs> Kay didn't catch one. Sean ended up catching those two trouts and I ended up catching that one trout. 
that was our first time charter fishing here in Florida. There was a ton of dolphins just going around munching on the fish and so that was one of the biggest thing that's stopping us from catching those fish. That was our very first experience charter fishing here in Florida. We are finally here at the next uh, fishing spot where Kay ended up catching her first pompano here in Florida. Just got to the fishing spot. There's uh, quite a few folks right now. Let's go ahead and set up and see if we can catch some pompanoes. So the sun's starting to set up now. Kay's on her last uh, cast, 20 casts to go. <laughs> Just look at this beach. There's nobody here right now. There's a couple of folks uh, fishing up that pier, but it's just pretty much us. Such a nice sunrise. Our last uh, sunrise here in Florida for this trip. What do you think about Florida fishing so far? Very slow. Maybe it's just a season or maybe the spots that we're going to. Definitely do your research if you guys are gonna be coming to Florida for fishing or anywhere else that's not your hometown. There's a couple other apps that we typically use. We also use Google Maps. So far, the best uh, source of information is um, your local uh, store, like your, your bait shop. They you know, know more about the local spots for fishing and also where local fishermen go fish. Way different than Alaska and Washington. Fish are this small. But you caught two though. Way higher than your, what? You were shooting for what? One? <laughs> <laughs> really like this hotel located right on the beach. It's not too far away from a couple of the fishing spots that we found. We got the pool right here. The breakfast is not too bad either. You can pretty much just walk down uh, to the front to access the beach. Miles and miles of uh, Florida beach here on this side. 